Welcome to your daily writing habit, episode number 158. If you're writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing a book and you're having some trouble finishing it, or maybe you'd like to get some help marketing your book, you are in the right place. Hello, I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh. If you're looking for me online, you can look up Christine Inc., I-N-K, like the stuff you write with. Every day, I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success, and they actually have the ability to turn someone who doesn't really think they're an author into one. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's inspirational quote. The art of writing is the art of applying the seat of the pants to the seat of the chair. (laughs) Mary Heaton Vorse. It's true. That's what it comes down to, (laughs) for sure. Lots of ways to do that, of course. Um, But that's, that's, in essence, that's how you get a book done, shockingly enough. So one of my favorite parts of every client book project is what I call my new author intake interview. This is where I get to listen to my future author's story of why they've decided to write a book and what they hope will come out of it and what they hope will happen along the way. And there are actually a lot of things to consider before you start writing your book. And, you know, answering these questions, the ones I'll be introducing to you this week, will help you get clear on everything from your why, which is the connective thread that ties you to your book. It helps you, these questions will help you figure out the most sensible writing plan that fits your schedule and your kind of your mindset and your creative energy. It'll help you determine your publishing plan. The question I hear a lot, traditional versus self-publishing and so much more. So for the next few days, I'm going to delve deep into seven questions I ask in my new author intake interview. And a quick note for those of you who might have seen some of these questions in a recent blog post I did, tune in anyway to this week's episodes because I'm going to be adding context to each one. In the blog post, I just kind of pop questions up there, but now I'm going to talk about them a little bit. So something for everyone here on your daily writing habit. So let's start with the first two questions. So the first question, again, this is my new author intake interview, giving you kind of a behind the scenes glimpse at what it's like when you work with me, as whether as a ghostwriter, book coach, book developer, all the different ways that I help authors. First question, why do you need to write a book? And is writing a book a must or optional for you? And this is important for me to know because, well, first of all, if they're wanting to work with an outside, if you're wanting to work with an outside person, you're talking about a financial investment to work on your book. And even if you don't, there's the investment of your time and your energy and kind of the, I guess, the disruption of your life to create this awesome, wonderful thing to breathe life into this thing, to breathe your book into being. This takes a lot of time and a lot of energy and you know a lot of commitment. And you'll have to, you know, say no to some other things along the way so that you can say yes to your book. So I need to know at the beginning, is writing a book a must or optional? And beyond that, what I really encourage my authors to do is to dig deep and find the strongest reason they can possibly come up with to write their book. Because you might have a few reasons. You might say it was a good business card and I need it for speaking gigs and, you know, and then you get to the next level of, you know, I want to change some lives and things like that. So I would say when determining your why, of course, write down a list of all your whys. But the one that I really want you to kind of emotionally attach yourself to is the strongest reason you can think of that will power you through the book writing process. So the strongest why that you can think of, because believe me, and I've talked about this in other episodes, when you kind of reach those, stumble over those obstacles along the way in the book writing process and, you know, writer's block and all sorts of things like that, that's when you're really going to need the strongest why possible. That's going to get you up on your feet again when you stumble, when you fall. So, you know, when you do decide, hopefully, that writing a book is a must for you, figure out why. Why is it a must? What is the strongest reason possible for you to write a book? So that's the first question I ask when new authors work with me. And the second, you know, kind of an offshoot of this is what are all your personal and professional goals for your book? So this kind of, you know, what I said a few seconds ago (laughs) is the laundry list of all the different things. So you might even kind of flip these questions now that I look at it. You might even flip the order here. Write down all your personal and professional goals for your book. 
and then find the one that is the most compelling. And when I say most compelling, the one that hits you the most emotionally, the one that hits you in your gut, your heart, your soul, wherever you need to get hit, <laughs> the one where you look at it and say, yeah, yeah, that, that's why I'm writing a book. That's, that's why this absolutely needs to happen. That's why it's coming off my bucket list. Maybe it's been on there for six months, one year, five years, 10 years. I've had clients that have been working around with their books inside them for 15 or 20 years. Imagine how heavy that gets after a while. So when you look at that list of all the goals, all the reasons you need to write your book, find the one that hits you in the gut. That's your why. All right, that's the first two questions. And tune in tomorrow for my next questions in my author intake interview. And in the meantime, I would love it if you would drop by my Inc. Authors Group on Facebook. That's where I offer motivation, accountability, book writing and publishing resources and more. And wherever you're listening to your daily writing habit, I would also love it if you would consider leaving a review, whether it's on Amazon, you can just look it up under Alexa Skills, your daily writing habit, or on iTunes or wherever you listen to this. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I'm helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And if you know someone else who wants to write a book, I would love it if you would share this episode with them. Thank you very much. And until tomorrow, happy writing.